Hello YouTube world, my name is Nicholas Montes and you're watching my YouTube channel, The Teenage Community Critic and welcome back to another YouTube channel everybody. I'm so excited to have you back to the again in today's video, we're going to be doing a MCU sequels bracket fight with the release of the Marvels coming out. I thought we would decide what is the best MCU sequel in my opinion. So today we're going to be doing that and we're going to start off with Iron Man 2 vs Thor Dark World. Now I actually don't intend to like any of these movies but, and Thor Dark World is easily one of my least favorite films. But, I would actually choose Iron Man 2 over because I think it's a lot more enjoyable. Then we have Captain America the Winter Soldier vs. Avengers Age of Ultron. I think Winter Soldier is actually the great movie and possibly one of the only sequels that I would say I really love. Age of Ultron is just a little too messy even though it's very enjoyable. Then we have Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 vs. Ant-Man and the Wasp. I think Guardians 2 does a lot of unique things. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I think Guardians 2 does a lot of unique things with the soundtrack to the character moments to uh, just a lot of great stuff and emotional moments. And the Wasp, I think, is a better movie because it just has a fu fun cast. It has a much more simpler story and it's a lot more fun so I'm actually going with Ant-Man even though I enjoy Guardians 2 way more. Then we got Spider-Man Far From Home vs. Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Now I think Far From Home has great Spider-Man action, it has fun moments with all the characters, I love all the Mysterio sequences, but that's kind of the th and I like Peter's journey of becoming Spider-Man in this film and truly becoming Spider-Man. The big issue with this movie though is it just doesn't feel like Spider-Man because it's not in New York. He's in London and in Rome and in Europe the whole time and it just doesn't feel the same. And Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness is a somewhat good multiverse movie that's directed by Sam Raimi but feels mostly like MCU at the same time so as to what, and I feel like that movie has just a lot of issues, and especially they use the multiverse, but they still did some cool stuff to, honestly, which one I'm going to pick, I'm going to go with Far From Home, because I think it's at least the better movie. Alright, now we're doing Iron Man 2 versus Winter Soldier, obviously I'm just in this one. Uh, Far From Home vs. Ant-Man and the Wasp, uh, I'm going with Ant-Man and the Wasp. Winter Soldier vs. Ant-Man and the Wasp, yeah. Alright, now we get to Black Panther Wakanda Forever vs. the Marvels. Uh, for me, I actually re-watched the Captain Black Panther Wakanda Forever last night, and I absolutely loved that movie. Uh, just a great rewatch, kind of emotional. And then the Marvels, kind of a good movie. It, it, I like the trio, I like all the action. Uh, doesn't really feel like a sequel to Captain Marvel, kinda. I think there's an interesting story that happens after the first Captain Marvel that's interesting there. But for me, Wakanda Forever is the better sequel in my opinion, so I'm choosing Wakanda Forever. And now we gotta pick, now I feel like these are my top two favorite uh, sequels. Winter Soldier vs. Wakanda Forever. I'm going with Captain America on this one. And yeah, so Captain America is... Captain America the Winter Soldier is my favorite MCU sequel. And that is my 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 bracket fight of the MCU sequels. Uh, what held up? Uh, thank you guys for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Almost social media stuff in the about section over there. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.